A printing press can print twice as fast as the old one. The old press can print the afternoon edition in four hours. If both presses can work together, how long will it take them to print the afternoon edition? So a couple things we see in this problem is that the old one prints it, the afternoon edition, in four hours, which means that uh, the new one, which prints twice as fast, um, how long would it take to print the afternoon edition? Two hours, right? So the new one will be, and this is by itself, okay? So by itself, it can print in two hours the afternoon edition. Two hours would give us the afternoon edition. The old one will take four hours to print the same afternoon edition. So if they work together, uh, we kind of have to look at this in terms of time, but we want to compare the same amount of time, right? So this one's pretty easy just because four is a multiple of two on this. So in other words, in four hours, uh, actually let me change that color. In four hours, I should have what the new will print, and then I should add that to whatever it is that the old would print. That's what I'm going to write in this. In four hours, the old edition will print one, one, I'm, I'm just going to call it a job, all right? It will do one job, which is print the afternoon edition. The new one in four hours will print how many of those jobs? Two jobs, right? So working together in four hours, we should get two jobs plus the one job. So here's what we have. In four hours, I'm sorry, in four hours, in four hours, working together, if they were working together, which it said they were, I'd have two jobs and one job total, meaning I would have three total additions, afternoon additions, three jobs. Now, I made jobs the afternoon edition just because I didn't want to write afternoon edition <laughs> that many times, so pardon my laziness. What we really want to know, though, and that's based on the question up here, is how long it takes both of them to print one job, right? Now, we know in four hours we'll, we can get three jobs out of that. So if I wanted one job, I would just divide both these by three, and that would tell me how long it takes to do one job. Well, so in other words, uh, in four hours, I mean, we could write this as an improper fraction, which that was kind of bad, four-thirds hours, which is the same as one and a third hour. Uh, I did hear someone say one hour and 20 minutes. I really don't care how you write that. 1.3 repeating hours, yes. Yep. Uh, that's how long it would take both of them to print one afternoon edition. So the equation stuff, I'm going to come back here to uh, the four hours is the two jobs plus the one job. Uh, of course, that's with them working together, and that's how many jobs they can complete together. So in other words, I've got four hours equals, and I'm going to define my x. x is, um, seems like that should so if x is uh, the number of hours to print, that says print, uh, then we know that in four hours, I guess, um, let me think about how that would work, make sense. Uh, on this one it would be two, because you can get two jobs out of and if you multiply that by the number of hours it takes to print those two, right? Well, the, the problem with that is that we still have to add, because that's just for the new one. The old one we have to add into that, though, which is one job every number of hours it takes to 
do the job. Now those the x is common for both because we're combining them. So when we do combine them, then we get, uh, I guess it would be three jobs times the number of hours per job. And, and again, it just kind of goes back to the wording on this. We can get three jobs in four hours, meaning that, again, we would divide by three. X, the number of hours it takes to print the job, would be four-thirds of an hour. And we've seen how that splits up as well.